All right, well, I'm back at it here. What I got today, I got my trusty uh, Glock 23. Got two different barrels here. I've got the one that came with it, the uh, with the polygonal rifling, the standard Glock barrel. Then I've got this uh, Alpha Wolf uh, barrel from uh, Lone Wolf Distributing, and it's uh, you know it's a real nice barrel, and it's got standard rifling in it. So I did a video, I don't know, maybe a month or more ago. So I did a video just to shooting these to see if there was any difference, uh, you know, between lead projectiles with the standard and the polygonal rifling and. I'm going to do another little uh, test today. I'm trying to level level the playing field out a little bit for it. Um, and I've loaded these up. This is what I was shooting the other day. This is a 175 grain uh, cast Lee uh, bullet. I've loaded these uh, with accurate number 7, 7.6 grains. And then I've got these. They're berries. They're plated uh, bullet. It's 165 grain. It was as close as I could get uh, that I that I had on hand, with uh, the same charge, 7.6 grains. Uh, slightly different uh, case overall length, but basically very close to the same bullet weight, same powder charge. So uh, just kind of just see what the difference is, you know, um, if there is any between you know the standard and the polygonal rifling with both of these so and I'm gonna try to shoot it from a rest um, I'm gonna try it out if I can get everything lined up and get situated right I'm gonna try to shoot it from a rest so I can get as good uh, you know the best accuracy data that I can get so we'll, we'll see what happens Okay, well, a couple of things. It's the first time I'd uh, really shot from a, a rest with a handgun, and this was the first target, so it took me a couple of shots to get used to it. But I still think, and I only shot five shots of each because it took a really long time to get set up, get everything set up just right, and I was kind of crunched for time, but I already had it set up, and I wanted to at least get some data uh, on this, so you know take it for what it is I'm not you know saying anything either way but I think we can or at least I think I've, I've learned at least one thing uh, from this little experiment I've been doing and here's the berries that's 165 grain plated here's my Lee 175 grain cast loaded the same charge accurate number seven seven point six grains same primer CCI 500 Case overall length 1.155 on these, and then this bullet here, it, it's a little bit uh, shorter. The Lee bullet's just a little bit longer. This bullet's a little bit shorter, so it's 1.109 was the overall length on that one. And so I did, uh, you know, five shots of each of these in each barrel, just to see what you know what I would get. And you know, obviously I got my little bullet trap, but there's the each one there's the plated one there's the cast bullet so this is the first group I shot and like I said it took me a couple shots to get used to it so this the group this is the worst group 
of all of them and I just attribute it to not really using that rest I should have shot some practice shots first um, but this is the lone wolf barrel with standard rifling it's the Lee 175 grain cast average 957 feet per second and uh, like I said from 15 yards it was it was my worst group I mean I did have one bullseye I think that was maybe my first shot I'll have to go back and look I don't know but you know if I just do this I mean that's pretty good that's about a three inch group that one in there really threw me off but anyways I, I think you know that shot pretty pretty well and then with the uh, lone wolf barrel again the standard rifling the berries uh, you know velocity was it was a, a less 874 feet per second uh, you know standard deviation and uh, extreme spread opened up the group I got uh, 3.2 inches so you know looking at these two I, I would say they're honestly besides the one way down here I would say they're pretty similar you know just by these four shots and then the five shots here you know it's a 3.2 inch group I would say those are pretty you know pretty similar not not a huge huge difference between that and you know between that so moving on to the Glock barrel the polygonal rifling and yes I only shot five shots of the lead cast lead so I didn't have any leading you know if I were to shot 200 rounds would I've had leading I, I don't I don't really know but you know, I've always had good good luck with that to barrel um, that gun. It's always shot really well for me. But it's here's a standard polygonal rifling with the cast. It's uh, 900 feet per second. Uh, there's CES and SD, and the group was uh, 3.8 inches. So, you know, there again, not not too bad. I was off a little bit to the left on that one, but you know, I had one bullseye. I had a couple there. So. Um, Comparing the two, uh, you know, cast groups, I mean, it's probably about the same, really. I mean, like I said, you throw this one down here out, and, uh, you know, it, it's about the same. They're pretty, pretty close to it, you know, as far as the group spread. And then uh, I had this one. Now, this is the standard polygonal uh, rifling. Berries, 165 grain bullet. Average velocity 849 feet per second. There's the ES and SD, and this one was my best group by far, two inch group. You can see right there. Um, pretty much, I had two, two through the same hole. You know, so that by far was was my best group. So, you know, what what can I say about about this video? Um, basically the Glock barrel the polygonal rifling from what I can tell does just fine with cast bullets there's no reason to you know worry about it now yes if I shot two or three hundred rounds I haven't done that yet but just you know shooting a few you know here and there I I just I haven't noticed that that much trouble and the, the uh, you know accuracy has been about average now you know this lone wolf barrel I'm, I'm actually a little bit disappointed that I didn't get better accuracy with that you know I got the best accuracy with um, you know the the Glock barrel and the plated bullets um, I mean this nobody can complain about that I mean yeah, it was from a rest but it was 15 yards away and I did have the chronograph between me and the target so it was about seven yards away from me so this isn't muzzle velocity the velocity is from about seven yards away which is the, what I like to get because you know seven yards to me I mean that's a, that's the defensive distance so I, I like to keep my chronograph you know around for a pistol around six to seven yards away from me and you seem, seem to get better readings that way anyway but you know I'm going on and on about this but my basically I'm um, you know the the Glock barrels the polygonal rifling in my opinion it's it's very accurate I mean I know there's gonna be Glock people out there haters or whatever uh, you know the the lone wolf barrel you know I had a little bit a little bit better velocities with the lone wolf barrel 
So is that, you know, attributed to the slightly longer length because it's threaded? You know, I'm, I'm not sure. Is it attributed to the actual rifling where it makes the bullet, you know, spin better and I get better velocities? Maybe. Maybe a little bit of both. Um, so, yeah, the Lone Wolf, I think, had a little bit better velocity. Uh, the Glock barrel was plenty accurate. Both barrels did fine. They were accurate. So, I don't know. Anyways, hopefully, maybe, maybe this is interesting to somebody. Then maybe you can, you know, do do some own, your own testing if there's somebody out there watching this. I mean, you know, get some cast bullets, shoot them in a Glock. You know, I mean, like I said before, these are powder coated. So, to me, I think it's a difference between powder coating and lube, traditional lube bullets. Um, but, you know, I, I think both you know shot shot well you know um, I think the lone wolf barrel shot the cast bullets well I think the you know Glock uh, polygonal rifling uh, shot both really well so there's no reason to think you can't shoot cast bullets with a Glock and there's no reason to think that you know polygonal rifling is not going to be accurate because it is so anyways thanks for watching everybody shoot me some comments let me know what you think and uh as always y'all take care we'll see you next time